guys, welcome back to another Blackburn Rovers match day vlog. And it is the first team today. We are heading down to Weaver Park for today's home game. So, like always, like I used to do, we're going to do a few match stats for either side. And then we will head down to the ground and get a few fans' thoughts and etc. Uh, etc. Et so, I've got a few things written down and a few things in the back of my mind that I know. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read them out. So of course we are playing Luton Town in today's game down at Ewa Park. So match stats are as the following. So Rovers currently sit in 11th place with 13 points. Luton sitting 21st with 7 points. Now the last few games we Rovers have won 4, drawn 1 and lost 3. Luton have won 2, drawn 1 and lost 3. Five. Now, of course, the last five home games for Rovers have been win two, draw one and lose one. And Luton's last five away games have won one, drawn none and lost three. And that gives them a 0.75% um, accuracy. And of course, Rovers, it gives us a 1.75% uh, accuracy as well. So, of course, Rovers going into this game, we are unbeaten in two games. We went to, we beat Millwall 2-0 and then of course we went to Reading the other week and won 2-1. Now for Luton, they were in the cup game the other night and lost 4-0 and their last uh, league game was Hull City and they lost 3-0. Of course, Rovers on the other hand are now unbeaten in two going into this game. Hopefully we can get unbeaten in three after today's win at Ewood Park. Now, the last meeting between the two sides took place at Luton in the FA Cup in 2007, I believe it was on the 27th of January, where we actually won 4-0 thanks to Morton Thomas Pedersen and Matt Derbyshire. An amazing day out, we'll never forget that. Um, and also, I just wanted to do a quick shout out um, to the Luton fans who are making the journey. Now, I saw this on Twitter and I retweeted it and I thought, absolute respect to you guys who are coming down. I hope you have a safe journey and an amazing away day. Um, it just says the following, Chris Richardson on Twitter. Coach load of Luton lads, Saturday will be flying a Blackburn flag in RN. This is for a great lad who passed away a couple of weeks ago. Please respect if you see it. Now, I totally and utterly respect you, Luton fans. So, you know, well done you. I believe there's around about 1,000 um, to 1,800 of you lot coming down. So, give yourself a round of applause for that. Um, absolute respect. So, without further ado, we're going to head to Ewa Park. And I'll see you guys down there for the team news. And see if we can get a hold of a few fans to have their thoughts. So, come on, you blues. And I'll see you guys down at Ewood. Bye. So that quick score prediction for today's game versus Luton. Uh, three two Rovers. Three two? Yeah. Oh wow, I'm gonna go three one Rovers, so come on you blue. Travis got a great goal as well. Lovely goal, man. Uh, I just thought we'd get to see Grimford a bit at the end there. 
more uh, passing and moving, yeah. just taking their time, seeing how they can the skills and yeah. I think we'll become our winners in this one. Yeah. Oh, well, great out of ten. Probably six out of ten. Six out of ten, yeah, I was going to say that, six out of ten. Are you sticking with your score prediction? Three out of three, two. Come on, come on, Mendes, you need to take nine. from our faces absolutely disappointed I thought we were absolutely atrocious today first half I thought first 15 20 minutes we can control the game and then Luton came back into it they got the goal to go 1-0 up and then we just fell apart Lewis Travis man of the match my dad and me gave it a 6 out of 10 for the first half second half I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 10 I think we were absolutely dis it, uh, I'm speechless, I don't even know even know what to say. So Dad, do you want to say anything? Echo your thoughts. Yeah. We were very, very, very poor today. The first 10 or 15 minutes, although we were on top and looked like scoring, it was harem scary, it wasn't controlled no. play. We we're all over we're still all over the place. Yeah, we should have been ahead, but we weren't. The keeper didn't have had a made save to make. They scored, settled down. And then just before half time, when Travis scored a great goal, good play that lad, I thought that's it, sets us up for the second half, play sensibly and we'll win this. Well, I'm afraid we didn't play sensibly, we were nothing short of abysmal. Yeah. I don't think we ever got started really. You can say Luton cheated in terms of the, the, the time wasting which was going on from the very early stage of the first half, it was so frustrating, but that's what you've got to get used to. So an abysmal game, abysmal result, Luton won, fine, we were shocking. Yeah, I mean, the referee as well. Well. My God. And if anybody knows why our goal didn't stand, leave a comment down below, because I'm not too sure why our goal didn't stand, because that would have made it 2-2 in the 90th minute. Um, so let me know. Not Man of the not match. not complaining about that at all. No. But Man of the match, Lewis Travis, he was absolutely superb. Got to start every game, everybody else, Rubbish. four or five out of ten. They were just absolutely shocking. Um, so we go on to our next game on Tuesday night at home. See if we can get a point or win it if we can. Definitely get an improvement on today's performance we anyway. We can't play any worse than that. No. So finally, rate that out of ten, Dad. Three. Three, yeah, and I've said four. So, yeah, we'll... I'm just going to end it there. I don't even know what else to say. So, of course, if you did like this video, then please drop a like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday night. Bye. Warned before this game that there's no easy games and, and you've got to get through each game. And unfortunately, that, that's come out to be the result today, hasn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. I think, um, you know, it was usually frustrating here for us, really. I mean, it's just. 15 minutes of the game we played probably as well as we played all season and um, and then the last 20 minutes uh, we camped around their box I think the frustration is that we we, we didn't really create enough clear coach goals going to make their goalkeeper work properly is, is, is what I'm looking for and um, I don't think you can put it down as a bad performance it was a pretty dominant performance and yet very similar to Charlton opening day of the season, we lost the game to a, a set player, which has been unlike us from then until now. Everything in between, we've, we've defended set players pretty well and made first contact. And yet today, against another promoted team, it's um, it's hurt us. You know, in, in the case where we've lost the game, but um, yeah, really frustrating. Really, really um, disappointed that we didn't find a way to score more goals than one. And um, you know, it, it, yeah, we have to move on. You don't want to get too down on it. It's um, there's, there's a lot of good stuff to do. We can't throw all that good stuff away. But ultimately, I mean, we should be beating teams like Luton Town. We total respect to them. If we have an aspiration to be at the top end of this table, we need to get results today, and, and, and we didn't manage to do that. Did you feel at half time at what one the sort of stage was set for you to go out and complete the job? I generally thought we would win pretty comfortably at half time to be fair. It's um and yet it didn't happen for us. It was you know, it's 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 football, you have to accept it. We uh, we huffed and puffed and um they defended well, blocked lots of our shots, um 
frustrated everybody with you know it seemed to seem to take an ace to take every throw in every goal kick everything it was oh god it was it was one of them days really where the clock was ticking and nothing was happening because somebody was they couldn't decide whether he was throwing it long or throwing it short and a free Wait until it was in 94th minute to book somebody, but um, there you go. It's I, I don't want to blame the referee. We, our own deficiencies, really. Um, today we need to look at and talk about. When days like this come again, we have to find a way to to beat teams like Luton Town. Did you feel the, the arrivals of Holtby and Graham added more threat? Um, I think sometimes uh, in games like that where you're playing against a lot of players who are sitting pretty deep and defending their box, you have to decide how you're going to score, what type of goals you're going to score and um, then maybe it was a day for more craft, I was just saying inside there, maybe a day for Rothwell, I think Rothwell's ill and wasn't available the day but a bit more individuality was probably required, a bit more individual technique to go past somebody to get to the byline to cut it back for somebody to score the back stick like we've scored in the past um, but you know it wasn't available at the end and sometimes when you're playing against deep block teams you know the Gallagher's and Armstrong's this world aren't, aren't the answer it, um, but we didn't have the players available we, we still ended up with Holtby and Dak on the pitch with that type of football of course but we still didn't find a way to get through and um, we left very frustrated disappointed the goal that was disallowed in the second half, it, it would appear, Tony, it's a Derek Williams header that's been touched in by Bradley Dack in an offside position. Is that your reading of the situation? I don't know, to be honest, I haven't seen it. I generally don't get involved with it. I don't want to be the manager who goes and bangs on the referee's door and F's and blinds and him for getting something wrong. I, think I generally like to calm down. He didn't give the goal the scores 2-1. It doesn't matter whether I think he was offside or... I'm not even really interested, but you know, I thought the referee had a tough day today and let too much roll and decided to book somebody in 94th minute, but um, never mind. It was, it's more about us than, than officials, and I don't want to stand here and blame the officials for our 2 1 defeat. We have, to, we have to look at ourselves and, and ask if we did enough. Were we clever enough around the edge of the box? Did we have enough shots at their goalie? Did we. Um, did we create enough chances? You know, we had enough territorial, positional play around their box and in our in their half of the pitch. I think, uh, I think they're, they're okay the way they play. They can give you problems. There were spells where they can break away and look all right. And yet, generally, the flow of the game was towards their goal. And yet, we didn't have enough to to put the ball in their net enough times. That's Tony Marbury, the Rovers manager, speaking after Blackburn's 2-1 home defeat to Luton Town. In